Welcome back with Volcano of the Day, going with Quilotoa in Ecuador, Caldera with 12,841 foot elevation, is dormant, has been since, well, confirmed 1280 AD, not so confirmed, um, as late as, well, as early as 1797. Tends to be explosive, though. Uh, Quilo Quilotoa Volcano is a small 3-kilometer-wide caldera, about 80 kilometers south-southwest of Quito. Um, it is the e westernmost of Ecuador, of, yeah, Ecuador's Indian volcanoes. The caldera is the truncated remnant of a descetic stratovolcano. It has steep inner walls with which about, rise 400 meters above the surface of a 240 meter deep lake. The only certain historical eruption of Quilotoa volcano occurred in around 1280 and was the largest explosive eruptions in the world during the past thousand years. Um, geologic studies have shown evidence that Quilotoa has produced at least eight ex large explosive eruptions during the past 200,000 years at intervals of 10 to 14,000 years. <coughs> so we're long far from overdue, so we should be good with this one. Um, anyways, reports of historic eruptions from the Caldera Lake are not certain. At present, Quilotoa Volcano has fumaroles on the lake floor and hot springs on the eastern flank. So tapping on that for more details, links will be in the description box below nonetheless. Um, Pop-ups can go away. Um, but yeah, map's not showing up. No recent earthquakes. There's map. And okay, so we're just going straight for the Planinian eruption. Um, so that means that was it for background. But anyways, 1280 Planinian eruption and Caldera formation of Quilotoa volcano. I'm assuming it's pretty well documented because it probably had some climatic issues with Europe. Um, anyways, one of the largest known eruptions on Earth during the past thousand years occurred around 1280 um, via radiocarbon dating. It followed a dormancy period of 14,000 years. The eruption emptied about 11 cubic kilometers of magma <coughs> during four erupted phases. Um, the first phase produced one of the northern Andes' largest airfall pumice and ash layer. Um, the following phases generated large pyroclastic flows and lahars which reached the ocean, well, the Pacific Ocean. The eruption was followed by the formation of the caldera and ended with the emplacement of a large, lava, a small lava dome. Um, no satellite imagery. And for some reason, there was a volcanic ash advisory, so this thing did erupt apparently this year. April. Um, volcanic advisory with the blast going up to 15,000 feet or just shy of three miles. Um, but yeah, flight level 150. This thing's long expired though. Um, but nonetheless, links will be in the description box below. Um, I guess no new advisory was issued. Um, but anyways, the fact it did erupt this year is interesting so with that that does seem to be it for right now stay safe see you in the next video bye